What's up everyone, Dabblade here with another quick tip video for Monster Hunter Rise. In this episode, we'll be going over how to unlock the various switch skills in the game. Now firstly, what is a switch skill? Well, a switch skill allows you to customise your weapon's moveset, so to speak. Each weapon can customise up to three of their moves and abilities. Switch skill 1 allows you to change one of your regular moves, so it's naturally a part of your combos and rotations. The same goes for switch skill number 2 as well. And for the third switch skill, you'll be able to customise and change out one of your silk bind moves. This allows you to customise a weapon and cater it to your playstyle. For example, take the Greatsword, one of its standard moves, the True Charge Slash, can be a little bit cumbersome and needs proper timing to effectively pull it off. This can be rough against fast monsters to which you can change this skill if you want via the switch skill system to the rage slash instead which is a slightly weaker move but is quicker to pull off and has a counter mechanic behind it. But how do you unlock switch skills? Well as there are three skills that you can customize there are three criteria that you have to meet. To unlock the first switch skill, you have to reach either the three star village quests via the story or reach the two star quests in the gathering hub. After which, you talk to Master Izuchi and he'll give you access to the first set of switch skills. So it's not too difficult to unlock the first set. The second set, on the other hand, requires a fair amount of materials. That is because you need to create or upgrade a total of eight unique weapons of that specific weapon type. So say you want to unlock the second switch skill for the bow, you have to craft or upgrade eight unique bows. This will unlock the second set of switch skills for you. And then the third and final set, which is by far the hardest, is once you reach the four star hub quests, you'll gain access to various hunts tied to each of the weapons. Each of these hunts will unlock the third switch skill for its corresponding weapon. Unfortunately, once you reach the 4 star hub quests, it doesn't give you access to all the weapon switch skill quests. For reaching the 4 star quests, you have access to quests that unlock the 3rd switch skill for the sword and shield, hunting horn, switch axe and light bowgun. When you reach the 5 star hub quests, you'll gain quests that unlock the 3rd switch skill for the greatsword, hammer, lance, charge blade and heavy bowgun. And then finally for reaching the 6 star hub quests, you'll gain access to quests that unlock the 3rd switch skill for the longsword, dual blades, gun lance insect glaive and bow. So obviously the six star quests are going to feature tougher monsters but it's well worth unlocking all the switch skills, playing around with them and see what works best for you. I should also say as well depending what weapon you're looking to unlock switch skills for the order isn't always the same as in for example say you're unlocking switch skills for one weapon it may unlock the third set of switch skills so the silk bind switch skill first before the other two whilst with another weapon it may unlock the first set of switch skills first whilst the silk bind switch skill may be last if you get what I'm saying. But like I said, regardless it's best to try to unlock all the switch skills as quickly as possible so you can solidify a gameplay style for the weapon of your choice. So that's how you unlock switch skills. So until next time I've been Darblade bringing you a quick tip video for Monster Hunter Rise. Hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.